me say this. If you get replaced by somebody else as a friend in somebody's life, you were never their friend. You were never their friend. You might have thought you they were your friend, but they wasn't. I noticed that um, one of my friends did that to me. And um, kind of hurts. I'll be honest with you, it kind of hurts. But at the same time, I realized they're not the same as they was. And if they are doing the same thing that if, if your friend is doing the same thing that they did with you with somebody else you've been replaced <coughs> just like I've been replaced that's why I, I tell you that I don't have friends that live near me because in this state friends are so quick to replace you with somebody else and I noticed that. That's why I try to stay uh, far away from certain, for people, and try to stay out of people's way because <coughs> my mama always says that everybody she talks to, that's my friend. No, that's your acquaintance. And I don't care if you spend, you know, two years, four years, eight years knowing somebody. You will soon learn that when you stop doing for them, they stop having anything to do with you. And I noticed that with people, you know what I'm saying? And um, that's why I like I tell everybody, I don't have no friends. <coughs> My best friend is, is two people, is kindness and my sister-in-law, which both I've never met face to face. And that's just how it is. You know, they both live far away and I don't get to go see them. But my whole thing is that don't allow your replacement in somebody else's life to affect your life. Yes, it hurts. I tell you, it hurts. Yes, it hurts. Like I was saying, it hurts. But the truth is, if you're so easy to replace for them, then they were never your friend. They were never your friend. They were there for something else temporarily. And I'm having to tell myself that now and sort of back away from this person and, and, and just let them fall on their own face. Because eventually that's what's going to happen. But if you notice that the ones that are doing this to you aren't getting the blessings you are because see you are a real friend and real friends get real blessings and that's the truth that is the truth that's why you will notice that everything they do will fall apart it won't it won't work no matter how hard they try it will not work so, you know, just don't take it so hard. That's what I'm having to learn myself right now after after what I saw the other day. And I wasn't going to say anything about it, but I'm just going to go ahead and just say it. Friends aren't your friends anymore. They're just not. And if you find one good one, hold on tight, no matter what. It's hard to find those good ones. And there's a lot of bad ones that will pretend to be your good friend but they're not over time time will tell all things so just be careful who you trust to put in your life you know because like I said I love this individual but at the same time at this point in my life I've already told them I don't trust them because I just can't there's they're not the same as they were you know five years ago they're not the same person they were five years ago and watch for that change watch for that pull away because they'll pull away from you when they see that you cannot benefit them or you refuse to benefit them they'll start that pull away and that's what happened to me so I always know that 
people like that will never succeed. Never. Because they're too busy hurting everybody else saying God don't like that. Just being honest. And that's the truth. Um, so, yes. As of this morning, I will myself be pulling away from this person. And... Um, and moving on with my life because I've been worried about it like for a couple months now and it's stupid that I'm worried about it because I truly love this person and it's hard to let go but I'm going to have to let it go let them go because they don't want to be my friends and I miss the good times that we had a long time ago but at the same time those good times are gone and people only, most people are only designed to be in your life temporary. And, and that's the truth. And sometimes, you know, you have to learn through the hurt. And you have to realize and let them go. Because, like, they're not worth you. And they're not. They're not worth you. They're not worth your honesty. They're not worth your realness. They're not worth your beauty. They're not worth anything. Because they chose not to be worth anything. And I hope this makes sense. But this is just stuff that goes through my mind. And what I go through. And you know. And like I said you know. When your so called friend starts doing the same thing they were doing with you. With somebody else. You've been replaced. And that's the truth. You've been replaced. And they can say, oh, no, you hadn't. Yes, you have. They're just trying to keep your keep you hanging on a little bit just in case they have to come back. Well, see, there is no coming back for me. I, I, at this point, I allowed this person to come back into my life and uh, forgave them. And we forgave each other because I did a lot of bad stuff, too. I'm, I'm not perfect. You know, I said some things after I heard they were saying things that I shouldn't have said. And I apologize to this person face to face. But at the same time, I got to remember is that it, you know, I, I, I'm not perfect. And, um, you know, one thing I always learned, my grandmother always told me, you know, I don't know how to put this. Anyway, I'm not calling anybody any names, but my grandmother always say, a snake will always show its colors. I'm not saying this person is a snake. That's not what I'm saying. I'm just saying in general, when a person backs away from you and starts doing the same thing they used to do with you, with somebody else, you've been replaced. And I'm having to learn to move on and not worry about it anymore and it's hard like for me it's hard because like I thought this was my true friend I, I really thought this was my one and only friend and then all this started happening a year or so ago and I, I've come to realize that it's just not worth me trying to fight for it anymore it's just not worth me trying to to worry about about that person it's not worth me uh, and i'm not going to let it happen anymore i'm not going to let myself get sidetracked from now on if they message me it will be a short answer real short and so i, I just i see no purpose in hanging on anymore i really don't you know what i'm saying i'm going to be nice of course and whatever because I love everybody no matter what's happened. But it's time to move on. Love you.